Computers, laptops, and projectors are all forms of technology you'll find in today's classroom. It's a good idea as long as there's an equal balance between um, pen and paper and the technology being used. I think technology used in classrooms is a lot easier because it's more efficient and we use less paper. Um, I think it is because now that we're starting to get further into the 21st century, I think that technology is becoming um, more useful for students. If you walked into a classroom 10 years ago, you probably wouldn't see the same technology that's in there today. Just as cell phones have progressed over the years, so has technology in the classroom. Oh my gosh, there are so many. Um, document cameras, I think teachers really should embrace cell phones and be using cell phones in the classroom because there are a lot of great tools that they could use with those. Um, Google Apps for Education, the fact that we can digitize all of our paperwork now and everything can be emailed um, and sent electronically. Some classes specifically require students to use technology in order to complete the class, including swag and your very own WGLH TV. Good morning. This is your wellness wake up call. Have you heard of something called trans fat? Um, I use technology as a tool. It's a one you know, tool in the toolbox to try and get um, students to take the content and learn it in different ways. Um, sometimes it's collaboratively. Um, through a collaborative Google Doc or Sheet. Sometimes it's on a, a presentation tool. Um, they're usually pretty good with PowerPoint and Prezi. So I'll try and use like Videolicious or um, something like TAC, something maybe they haven't used before to try and venture out. According to a study done by Kent State University, it found students who have access to their cell phone or any electronic device in the classroom are more likely to have lower GPAs, which causes teachers to have to problem solve in order to make sure technology does not become a distraction. Um, I think if the students are engaged, um, you limit the distraction. So it's utilizing it, um, making learning fun. So you use the technology in a productive way, um, model the behavior for them so they know how to use it or how, what to expect. Um, and I think you'll get a lot more buy-in, a lot more on task behavior. Today, seeing more technology like this and this is becoming more and more of a common sight in the classroom. And most teachers see that as a plus giving them the power to connect more with their students. What's next? Only time will tell. Reporting for WGLH-TV, this has been Jonathan Mays.